Hey guys, a video for our castles and old buildings in Japan playlist. This beautiful park is at the base of Mount Kinka, which is in Gifu City, in Gifu Prefecture, central Japan. And this is what you will see if you go to see Gifu Castle. This will be one of the first things you'll see when you arrive. The base of the mountain, beautiful park. And then when you look up at the top of the mountain, you will see Gifu Castle. So as is usually the case with castles, very hard work to get to, aren't they? They're designed that way, aren't they? Usually, there's a couple of exceptions in Japan of castles that are surrounded by moats, so a little bit easier to get to, but usually involves quite a lot of walking up a very steep hill. In this case, there's a ropeway for the first half, and then once you get to the top of the ropeway, then off you go on the stairs. And there are a lot of stairs. If, if you have any sort of issues with your legs, you probably won't make it. There's a lot of stairs to go up to get to the top. So unfortunately, as is the case with lots of the castles in Japan, the original Gifu castle that was built in 1200, around 1200, was destroyed during World War II by firebombing. So this one is a reconstruction that was made in 1953. So that is, unfortunately that's a common story in Japan. There are a lot of old castles that were destroyed during World War Two and have been rebuilt, which is sort of sad because they re rebuilt them with concrete and even though they look pretty good from the outside, they're pretty depressing inside because it is concrete walls. So in this case, we didn't bother to film inside for you. We don't bother with reconstructions. We've showed you enough originals that you know what an original castle looks like. What is worthwhile is obviously the view. And that is often the case. Either there'll be no castle at all because it's been demolished or there'll be a... a a copy like this one and the the building itself then is not of such interest but the location is because you can imagine this has got history going back well hundreds of years almost a thousand years so and an amazing view so it's worth the trip if you're in Gifu it's worth going up and have a look go up the mountain have a look while you're up there this is a sort of a mystery this is called Squirrel Risu Risu Mura or something like that Squirrel Village or something don't strangle the squirrels. <laughs> don't kick the squirrels. <laughs> don't make a lot of noise and don't smack the squirrels on the head, apparently, is the rules. So this is sort of strange. This is sort of almost five minutes from the castle up on the mountain itself at the top of the ropeway. And these are actually Taiwanese squirrels from Taiwan. So we asked why they were from Taiwan and we were told that Japanese squirrels are too flighty or shy or something. <laughs> shy was the word that we were told. So, don't know, <laughs> don't know. Uh, so this is, you pay about f a couple hundred yen a person to go in and they give you a glove with some weird powder on it and it's for the squirrels. So, eh, sort of okay if you're really into squirrels, but it's sort of bizarre really. It's a bit, it's a bit of a strange thing to have up there on the mountain next to the castle but there it is if you've got kids with you it's probably worth having a look at the squirrels aren't living too badly in there they've designed it so that the squirrels can stay away from the people if they want to so these ones that are coming near the people are doing so because they're choosing to they don't seem real keen on the food actually this powdery stuff that the people are giving to the squirrels provided by the staff seems a bit doesn't seem to interest them terribly much. Either that or they're just really well fed. I mean, they're obviously not starving. Have a look, they're porky little squirrels. So there it is, Gifu Castle and Squirrel Mountain, as some people call it. There it was. More videos coming soon.